We're almost there. We're halfway. Wrong van. And again. Hello everybody, I am Maddie Dragon and welcome to Solitude Underwater. This should be interesting. The Insurmountable was a three-decker trading ship that made a total of five voyages yeah, yes. in the service of the British East India Company. On December 30th, 1718, the Insurmountable left Calcutta in order to return home to England. Okay. Her cargo consisted of 29 barrels filled with copper coins, 40 chests of silver bullion, 25 chests of gold bullion, and 96 elephant tusks. Bastards. She would never reach England. On February 15, 1719, the Insurmountable sailed directly into a violent storm. And in that storm, she remained for three miserable days, hopelessly lost. In the middle of the fourth day, the Insurmountable capsized and sank to the ocean floor okay. with all of its precious cargo. Okay. Of its crew of 112, only 11 men managed to make it to the shores of Eleven? South Africa. The rest were devoured by ravenous sea creatures. After much intensive research, my brother and I have come to believe that the Insurmountable may have sunk near a certain South African island. Okay. At the time that the Insurmountable sank, it was called Ilha de Fera, which is Portuguese for the Island of Wild Creatures. But nowadays, it's known as Dyer Island. Today's date is June 17th, 2023. My brother and I are minutes away from falling asleep in a shabby hotel in Hunsby, South Africa. If all goes well, June 18th, 2023 will be the day that Zane and Dominic Riker finally bring all the insurmountable's long-sunken treasures back to the surface and become instant multi-millionaires. Oh, you will. I'm pretty sure there's some people out there who would uh, have some radio sort of claim. Check, radio check. Can you hear me, Dominic? No. Nope. Loud and clear, Zane. Loud and clear. Hey Dominic, how far away are we from Dyer Are we Island? moving? Right now, Zane, I'd say we're approximately 30 nautical miles east of Dyer. Why? I don't know. Yeah, there's a bit of spray, but it we're not moving. It just occurred to me that a little while ago, I was still able to see Dyer Island as a tiny little speck on the horizon. Now I can't even see that anymore. Whichever way I look, there's nothing but you, me, and the deep blue sea. Are we going to move yet? Can I pick up the shotgun? First rule of treasure hunting, always come armed. Yes. Too many thieves and rival treasure hunters who are thieves. Are we even? Dominic and I had to learn that the hard way. Actually, yes. Oh, thank goodness. We're there. We should be directly above what's left of the insurmountable. Okay. Let me know when you're ready to go underwater, Zane. I'm ready to go. Are we going to actually move this time? I'm ready, Dominic. Let's do this. Let's do it. Great. I'll help you put your scuba gear on. Thank you, bro. Thank you very much. You know, Dominic, I still think you miscalculated the coordinates. I'll tell you what, Zane. You go down there, and if you don't find the insurmountable, I'll pull you back up, and we'll go wherever you want. I'm starting to feel a bit nervous. <laughs> hey, don't off. worry! I spared no expense buying the very best cage for you, Zane. You'll be completely safe in there. I'm going to take loads of pictures of all the treasure when I'm down there. Oh, of course. Terrific. Now can you please get a move on already? We're wasting valuable time. There. Okay. Lower me down. Okay. Oh, it's... Hey, Zane. How's the water down there? Wet? I was going to say wet. Or cold. And growing steadily darker the deeper I go. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna let you go for a little while. Got to answer a call of nature. Have fun basking in the exquisite majesty of the briny depths. Will do. I'll call you when I see the insurmountable. Thanks, bro. Or if anything weird happens. Thanks, bro. Thank you so much. Right. It's all so big. Shame we can't actually, like, bounce around and do a little swim because I've got a bad feeling about this. This is like... Oh, what a 
cool looking manta ray. Small ra Maybe manta ray. I should ray. take a picture. Very small manta ray. F to turn on the phone. Wait, stop! Come back, Mr. Manta Ray! Great. Oh, hell. I don't like the light. flashlight on. Probably should fix that before it eats up my battery and I scare off all the marine life down here. Hey, Zane, you there? Yeah. I just got back from my bathroom break and I am hearing a lot of static coming from your end. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Although I can't say I'm hearing any static. Hey Zane, I don't know if you heard anything I said just now. I don't know if you responded to my words, but if you did, please speak louder because I couldn't hear you over all the static. I said I'm not hearing any static, Dom. There's a bit. There is a bit. Ah, spoke too soon. I actually am hearing static. Damn! Are you there? I can't hear you at all! Please respond! I hear the static too, Dom! Just stay hey. calm! Can you hear me, Dominic? Stay... Jesus Christ! Well, that's oh my normal. god, Dominic! The chain! The chain's breaking! I can hear it breaking! Um, help? Chain, I think we're experiencing some kind of malfunction! Yeah, no shit. Oh, Jesus H. Press. Help. There's a lot of sharks! Help. Okay, we're there. We're going. We're going down. Ow. My head. Oh, that's not good. Go to the thing in front of the cage and press E, okay? Um See it. So we've got the drowned ending. So that's nice. I am doing that. I'm pushing E. There you go, I've done it. Bingo. Now what? What's that over there? Oh, that's my laser cutter. I brought that down with me to cut through the shipwreck's walls of debris. Well, it must have fallen out of my pocket. It's not much use over there, is it? Okay, let's try and get some more oxygen. And then that's gonna run out at some point. Okay. Right, that's fine. Jesus H. Right, we are running out of power. Uh, spam E. Rattle the cage by getting close to the side where the shark is in spam E. Just me, I am. I'm pushing E. I got eaten. Okay, let's hope we're back to trying again. <laughs> oh my goodness, right, come on. Instead of just doing nothing, let's go. Let's go. Let's. Shit. Wait. What's up with its eyes? Right, I'm holding. Now we've got to keep uh, going back for oxygen, moving the cage. Thank you. All right, let's go. All right, I'm doing it. Come on. Are we nearly there yet? Oh, we're nearly there. That's good. Get a quick bit of oxygen. I'm hoping that we can survive this. Let's go again. I keep missing out on the hitting space. Did it. That'll enable me to actually push it a bit further again. We're almost there. We're halfway. Wrong band. And again. Unbelievable. I just keep dying. As soon as you hit the side of this cage ne near, next to the shark, the other shark comes along and just nabs you. So I've had no luck. I've tried knocking over here next to it. I've tried knocking there. It just doesn't seem to be working. In an endless loop of death. This is my last try. Okay. 
as you saw, happened again. I did what it said. I got up close to the side where it was, hit it, and it just... Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. Smash like and hit that bell to be informed whenever I bring out a new video. Well, thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bloody sharks.